Greetings, fellow stamp enthusiasts. Welcome to the Monday Morning Brief for February 15th. It's always a thrill for me when stamps take center stage in front of an audience of millions of people. Such was the case on two separate occasions on the hugely popular and entertaining TV quiz show, Jeopardy! In a story published on Linz.com, associate editor Mike Bodke revealed that the February 1st episode featured the 10-cent Booker T. Washington stamp from the 1940 Famous American series under the category African American History. Host Alex Trebek read this clue. This institute founder was the first African American featured on a U.S. postage stamp. Unfortunately, the contestant who buzzed in first incorrectly asked, who is W.E.B. Du Bois? One week later, on the February 8th episode, U.S. stamps were a featured category in the Double Jeopardy round. In this case, just one of the five clues pictured a stamp, the 2015 non-denominated 35-cent Spoonbill postcard rate stamp. None of the three contestants posed an answer to the clue Trebek read. The Coastal Birds postcard stamp set includes this wading bird that's named for a prominent facial feature. In a groundbreaking move, the United Nations Postal Administration issued six stamps February 5th promoting worldwide equality for lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people. Sergio Baradat, who created the stylized symbolic designs, said that through these stamps, the United Nations is saying that LGBT people deserve respect and happiness and love. To wrap up, a friendly reminder. Don't forget to vote in Lynn's 2015 United States Stamp Popularity Poll. Online voting in the 2015 poll via Lynn's.com closes March 4th. Completed paper ballots must be postmarked by March 4th. Paper ballots are available in each issue of Lens, and photocopied ballots will be accepted. For Lens Stamp News and the Scott Catalogs, I'm Chad Snee. Have a great week enjoying our wonderful hobby. Cheers.